All right, welcome back to Wine Mastery. We are going to taste a Greek, a white Greek wine. Now I'm gonna have a go. Uh, let's see if I can pronounce the grape. It's 100% and it's, um, let me see where, it, Mo Moshko, Mosh, Moshko Fellow. Moscow Mosh Filaro. I don't Moscow think Filaro. I would even hazard a guess at Moscow. It's coming up below here, look. This, this is, that, that's how you spell it. Let us, have, let us know how you pronounce it, if you know. Uh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be a little kiss. That's flummoxed me. I asked John, I said, perhaps you should pronounce that, John. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know where to start with that one. So here's the bottle. Here's the bottle. So that's, it's white on grey, uh, which is uh, a nice, uh, different. Um, yeah, yeah it, it looks like a nice bottle as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, okay, so this one, here comes, uh, here comes the price, 9 25 mm, Not bad, not, bad, not bad No, it's, it's not <laughs> horrific, is it? It's not, it's not the cheapest, but it's not the most expensive. No, no, it's, it's in, it's in the, the mid-range there, isn't it? The lower, lower mid-range. I never thought I'd hear you say that, John. A bottle of wine that's just shy of a tenner. Oh. And what did you call it? Lower mid-range. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, sorry, John. I didn't. I didn't say I like it though. Oh, I no, just... yeah. <laughs> you didn't. Okay. I just have to accept it. I just have to accept it. <laughs> so I think that there is, um, from what I understand, from what I've read in in the press, that the Greek wine is making a little bit of a sort of uh, comeback or becoming a little bit more popular. Mm. I'm not sure if that's because you know, um, the uh, Greek uh, vineyards are actually producing more and therefore able to export more or, or whatever. Uh, but anyway, um, I thought, well, you know, I've heard lots of good things. And of course, the Greeks were like at it, excuse the expression, before the Romans. Um, so it goes way, way before Christ, uh, BC. Yeah, apparently so. So, uh, you know, they've been in it for thousands of years. So there's a lot of experience there. And uh, Well, we used, to, we used to sell Greek wine, a lot, well, a lot of the red Greek wine. Uh, but very little. In fact, I, I, I'm trying to rack my brains on thinking if I've ever really tried a, a, a white we Greek have tried one, one from Santa, Santa, Santorini. They oh, sent us the yeah the vine vineyard there sent us one. Was that the very uh, the very yellow one that was uh, 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 this? Yeah, okay, oh yeah, I remember that now. That was that was delicious. It has to be said. Yes, my, the red one was as well. Yes, it was. Yes, yep. so so all right, some big uh, big shoes to fill here. Yeah. yeah, well let's let's have a taste. Well, let's have a look yeah. at the colour first. Yeah. So uh, what do you what do you think to that? That's it's nice sort of. I want to say amber, that's probably not true, is it? It's more yellowy. It yeah. looks like a sort of Chardonnay colour to me. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it has got that yellow there, but for me, it's, there's a little green, a little, uh, yeah, a like useful, yeah. Yeah, 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 like a tint. Yeah, a tint. useful green, but, but that's all, all, all good. And again, it's got that definite enticing look, hasn't it? It has, yeah, it looks cool, refreshing, mm. like you want to dive into it. I'm, I'm, I'm game, right, so I've got no one else. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, that's, that's, whoa. Oh, it is, isn't it? It's like sweeties, but not sickly sweet, just nice and I, I wasn't dancing, dancing yeah. on the surface there. I wasn't expecting that. No, nor was I. Yeah, I get your, I get your sweeties. I get it. For me, it's more a flor. Uh, well, the, the sweeties are, but it's a floral kind of honeysuckle. You yeah. Know those, those really fragrant flowers. That's lovely. That's very enticing. It's very yeah. enticing. It's it makes very, you want to yeah. sort of taste it straight yeah. away, doesn't it? Because it's like, what? Oh, I know, but I want to, yeah, I know, I want, but I want to appreciate the nose, but I don't want to miss anything. No. No, it's, uh, no, I know, but it's just, uh, mm. but it is very, it makes you really want to get in there. It does. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's lovely. It's lovely. It's, see, I, tell you, I think this is what... You can imagine what, actually walking through um, like a, a, a sort of garden with all sorts of different yeah, and the floral and scents coming And everything in. getting you there. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. You know, this is... It's a pleasure, is that? And it sometimes is. it's like... You know, I, well, I don't know what it's like on the palate yet. You know, I, I'm, I'm not going to judge as such, but from, from this alone, from the look and the nose... It's encouraging. Very, very much so. And this yeah. is why we do this, to find these little stars. So these little gems. We're going to have to go on the uh, whole palette, John. Okay. Mmm. Mm. And it doesn't disappoint. Does not disappoint, no. And it's not tasting the same, but it's got like an element of Riesling to it. Mmm. Yeah. I think that's a lot to do with the, the mouthfeel as well on there. Mm-hmm. You kind of get that nice coating. For me, I'm getting... Um, like a, a sweet 
a, a green pear, but when a green pear is just a, it's perfect ripeness and the sweetness is there. You know, you bite into it, it's all juicy and dribbling off your chin, that kind of juiciness. But it's, it's very unusual in that it kind of, there's a lot of length there, a yeah. lot of length there. This is a very interesting wine. This is something... In the length, for me, there's like um, a spiciness without the heat, if that makes sense. I think that's where your Riesling is coming in as well. Yeah? You get a reason there. I'm dribbling a little bit here and I shouldn't be, but this is, this is something to behold. The acidity obviously is, is well managed there. But then this, I don't know whether that honeysuckle comes through in, in the flavour as well to make it, because it, it, it's not, I mean it's dry, obviously it's dry, but it's, it doesn't have that real kind of dry, stringent kind of flavour. But it, it has got a kind of cloyiness that sits on your tongue, but in no bad way whatsoever. Because it, although it has that, it still has a freshness about it as well. Yeah. It's, um, it ticks a lot of boxes, is that for me? Uh, when I, and the other thing I noticed is this one, uh, because normally if you sort of suck the air in at the same time you've got the wine in it, it sort of explodes the, we did videos on why that is, but but it actually, this amplifies it so much more when you bring in that extra mm -hmm. air compared to just, you know, put it on, put it on your tongue and then just swallow it. If you actually bring in the air and bubble that around, it really it, it's, it's got explodes. so much more punch, hasn't it? Yeah. More, more to give about it. Whereas you say, yeah, sometimes you struggle to, you know, just, even then, not even, I don't know whether, because we've had a taste now, but the, 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 the nose is coming through, just as I did that, you could smell that, and uh, that's a very interesting bit of wine. If, you, if, you, if you'd gone to a party or a friend's and somebody offered you that, you know, I'd say, you would act, act, well, I would actively go out of my way to say, where did you get that from? What is it? You know, I would, I would want to know what that was, and then I'd want to go get a bottle of that myself, because that is um, enjoyable. It's very enjoyable. Very complex for a white wine. Yeah. But, and again, a Greek white wine. Yeah. I must. And I don't, I'm not sure how long uh, it's actually, uh, I'm just trying to see if I can see, 2021. So young, relatively young, young wine as yeah, well. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, yeah. I, I say it does have the, the freshness is there. Uh, it, very nice wine well, as well. Wow, that? absolutely lovely. Yeah. Yeah, this is a. Okay. So, are we going to get move on to pairing? Bearing? <laughs> it tastes a bit like pear. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> the bearing, yeah. I mean, I, I, I must admit, I was thinking about this as we're going up here. But not, be, not because I appreciate this question, because usually, you know, we get that. But I was thinking, actually, quite naturally, what would I want with that? What what now would I want to eat with that, as in cheese wise? And I'm going to say it's a Telegio, um, which is actually it's an Italian uh, cheese, is a Telegio. Um, and it's used a lot more in cooking than anything else. It's like a soft. Uh, washed rind cheese, so it's brie-esque, but not quite as flavoursome. Uh, you, you use it a lot of cooking, I say they stuff chicken breasts with it, um, it works very well, it, it, it comes out, it's always been cooked, but I reckon this, just with the fresh cheese, because it has that fairly mild flavour, but there's a little salty tang at the end, which I just think would would just marry perfectly with that one, so, so I, I would say to leisure. Okay. For for food, I'm going to suggest, and I'm not sure whether you agree with this, but I'm going to suggest like a uh, rice with, with pr uh, prawn in a sweet and sour sauce. Mm, yeah. I think a little bit of spiciness with this will offset the, the sweet and sour sauce, and I think the, the rice, etc., those together, and this will, will be delightful. I was wondering where you were going with that, but when you said the sweet and sour sauce, I could uh, 100% agree. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, definitely. Good, I was, because I was before, when you were talking about the cheese, and I was only half listening, because I was thinking, oh, what could I put with this? Because it's, again, you know, this is very nice on its own, and when I when I drink a wine that's very nice on its own, I find it hard to get past that, because I think, well, actually, I don't want to have anything with this, I just want to enjoy it on its yeah. on its own, but no, I think it would go well with that. I know exactly what you mean sometimes, <clears throat> but as I, I kind of preempted it, and thinking, oh, it does from a, from a, a lust for what could make this better, what what could I put with that? Yeah. So, so yeah, I understand completely. Mm -hmm. Okay, move on to scoring. Okay. Okay. <coughs> scoring. Now. So this is nine twenty-five. <coughs> yes. Which no. isn't cheap. Not expensive, but it's not it's cheap. It's not. It's not. So nine twenty-five or seventy. Nine twenty-five. Nine twenty-five. Okay, so nine twenty-five. But it's in the kind of lower. Um, I I would say I don't know. It's a, uh, but I say a little bit lower in, in price. You know, this to me could be an everyday drinking wine. Um, it, it ticked all the boxes all the way along. Uh, so I think this deserves a fairly handsome score. Um, it's a whole thing that would really interest me, and I'd, I'd be very proud to serve that as well if somebody came to my house. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go for we'll call it a that and a that. Okay, I'm going to go for eighty three. Ooh, I'm just a bit above you, eighty eight. Oh wow, quite a bit above me actually. Yeah, well, well, I was just putting it all together again and thinking 
that thing, like I said, that if someone came to my house and they and, and because of what I do, I'd want to kind of impress them because I'd expect they would expect it from of me. Of course, yeah. So yeah, so just throw a wild card, something interesting. Have that. Yeah, no, I, I, I totally get you. I was, I was straight, I was saying 84, 925, I thought, though, 925. And I also was trying to compare with some of those that we had given a high. But that is definitely a wine that I would not hesitate to buy no. another bottle of. No, uh, just because it's so interesting. Yeah. Just because it's so interesting, yeah. Well, that's one that you could literally, you know, we could sit, sit down and, uh, you know, without being pretentious, but we could sit down and have a proper, like, what do you think of that? And how are you finding that, you, you know, yeah. ra- rather than... A bog standard Sauvignon from that where? you just talk and just sip and not really take yeah. notice yeah. of the uh, of the taste. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay, guys. Well, you know, well worth trying. Please, uh, if you get, manage to get hold of it, uh, let us have your comments. Tell us what you think of it, and if you manage to eat something, tell us what you uh, you know, you paired with it. And so, until the next time, guys, we really look forward to seeing you. We'll have to add some more Greek wines to the list. I, de- think. I think definitely, John. Yeah, definitely we've not been disappointed. In fact, the ones we've had have been uh, they've really scored high up, haven't they? They've been very good, yeah. Yeah. I should, yeah, I should look at more Greek wine. Yeah. Okay. Well, because Wine School, as well, from Cyprus and the wines that she's uh, she comments on, she's, she's yeah, she comes up with some fantastic uh, wines as well. So, mm, so okay. we can get some of those. Until the next time, guys. We'll see you there. Chin chin. chin. chin.